The challenges of poverty eradication may be daunting but not insurmountable. It is on this premise that the governor of Kaduna State, Malab Nasir Erufai, represented by his special advisor on rural development, lamented the need to assess safe drinking water and sanitation, bringing infant and maternal mortality rate to the barest minimum, as well as a society where quality health and education are guaranteed. The solution to all these problems can only begin by identifying their root causes from the local content perspective. Many still live below the poverty line, as well as poor prevailing human development indices. And we're all seeing now in the news, excuse me for showing my political side, we're all seeing reports of people who looted billions and billions and billions when they were in positions to actually help people and support uh, and implement projects that actually help people. It's not rocket science. If you are given 10 billion naira to build a school or a hospital, you build the school or the hospital. You don't steal half of it and go away with it. While restating the present government's determination to rid the country of poverty, the governor lauded Dr. Michael Motosho Foundation's efforts towards providing succor to the downtrodden. Dr. Michael Motosho, who also presented two books, Foresight, Horizons in Leadership and Altruism, to the public expressed optimism that with all hands on deck, the common enemy, poverty, can be nipped in the board. I have chosen to meddle so that I can do something to change the status quo of the helpless and hopefully, in the process, catch the attention of fellow meddlers. The discussion session of the lecture by experts centered on how to create wealth in Abuja. Timothy Yusuf, NT News.